Ah, it hurts! Oh, it hurts so much! God! <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Are you okay, dude? No, I'm not okay! But uh, we got Hatsuho. Isn't that good? Okay, so, um... I've learned that... Okay, Hatsuho is our teammate for this, uh, this chapter, but this is not our deputy captain. This is just a Hatsuho chapter. Wait, excuse so, me? So if I were to choose Azami or somebody else as my deputy captain, Hatsuho would still be my partner for this chapter. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense, now does it? What? Oh, the, the, what was the point of choosing the deputy captain? That's a very good question, my buddy! Uh, well, uh, That's a very, very good question! You know, I still think it would be a cruel joke if your deputy captain was the person you chose to sacrifice at the final chapter. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be just... The, the ultimate kick in the balls. She's like, oh hey, deputy captain should be the girl I like the most. Oh sweet, hey, she's dying. <laughs> I, I get the feeling that this game is close to its ending, and yeah. I, I, your spirits are lifting and then slowly being punched down back to the ground. See, because a lot of the footage has been captured, you know, I'm I'm uh, get uh, currently I'm gathering the footage for the last episode so I can stitch that together. Mm -hmm. But I, I've also been playing better games, more fun <laughs> games, more fun projects, and having to come back to this just drags me down so much. Uh, it's, it's okay, friend. Well, this, ga this game has been burning me out. It is, it is killing me, dude. It is killing me. And today, this episode today, we're gonna get to probably the most bullshit the game will ever fucking be. Oh, excellent. I've been waiting for this. Oh, I've been waiting for it too. In fact, yeah, I would even say that this moment that's gonna happen may be the reason why I decided to do this stupid project to begin with. Oh, I, I mean the build-up. Yes. Really, I have nobody to blame to my I have nobody to blame for, for, but myself for this for this stupid project. <laughs> I'm not having fun. You're not having fun. Nobody watching this is having fun. So why are we doing it? Because. Because hindsight is a great thing. Yes. And also, uh, by default, there are so many people on this earth that this could be one person's favorite Let's Play. You know, you don't know. If so, then please watch something else. I, I will say, going back and uh, reading some of the comments, people are getting as burned out as you are. <gasps> I can't keep a schedule together. Prince of Persia is taking a dive because of this series. I just, I just can't we, sometimes. We reached crisis mode. Thanks to Soccer Wars, you've gone into like a, a downward spiral. Oh my it's god! Too, it's too bad I don't drink anymore because if I did. <laughs> Oh, so shit. right now, right, right now, this is our uh, face-off with the Berlin Combat Review. We can't really do the games with them because, well, the games are kind of no more right now. Fucking finally, so, we are facing off against Berlin here at the start of the chapter, and they've got their mind control masks on and yada yada whatever. Hashtag free Merlin. Merlin was London. Damn it! Oh, then who this am is I Berlin. Thinking? Uh, who did we call? Who did we call her? Or was it him? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just call the third member Sebastian and be done with it. There's so much talking. Hey, did you know the best way to avoid an ambush is to talk about it first? Remember, alright, so this is the strongest world combat review in in the world. Yes. They've they've won three years in a row. And now they're being supercharged with the power of the Archdemon and whoever the third person there is as well. I mean they're not what what's the fucking point? I don't get it. 
Oh, so for this first half, uh, the Berlin, com the third Berlin combatant and Margareth are gonna attack us while at least taking pot shots at us from above. Oh. And it's kind of hard to really, you know, understand what they're saying when you ha they have a voiced song in the background drowning out everything. But this is the epic finale, my dude. We need to have the operatic ballads in the background as you fight people who were supposed to be your friends! Oh, God, can you imagine if there was a quick time event where you could turn one of them into like a meat shield for you? Oh, yeah. Like, like hold up Berlin Combatant 3 as Margareth is taking shots at you and then just duh, 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 gone. Yeah, some heat moves are, de are desperately missing from this. I mean, it's not like it'd be that far off. I it turns out the technology that they use for the, like, the, the cutscenes of the characters move, they, t they, they borrowed that from... RGG Studio! Oh! They're using the same tech! The same tech that's using the amazing Yakuza cutscenes is using this joke and bullshit. Now, you can't blame the engine. It, it's what you do with it. It's the animators I blame. It's I, I don't know who to blame. I gotta blame somebody! Okay, now that I have officially played a Yakuza game in my spare time, I can see the comparisons, like, taking visual cues from Like a Dragon and kind of seeing these cutscenes happen in motion, I can see the comparisons. Oh, is it underutilized? Well, it's done hey, there. Yeah, you yeah. are who you were supposed to be beneath the mask. Whoopee. Do, 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 do. So now it's time to face off against Elise. Cool. I believe we gotta find some way to make us fight them. I think we've already made the comparison to Sonic 2006, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to hold out my arm, Elise. Uh, there we go, oh we God. did it. Oh, man. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey. I just, I just realized. It, it's all Sega. Fuck. Yeah, it's all Fuck. Sega. So dodging is really easy, thanks to all these attacks, because they, they've got these uh, incoming missiles from above, then you can just dodge out of the way and just get some free hits. It's easy! God. You're pathetic! Berlin. Damn. Yeah, the, the fact that those missiles coming from the ceiling miss you by a mile and then you just get free shadow attacks, like shadow dodging, that's amazing. Not to mention every bullet is has the potential to be dodged, so... That's hilarious. In a giant mech like this, you're dodging bullets Matrix style. That's awesome. And, you know, dodging. Like, the, like these are the world champs, really? <laughs> Even under mind control, they're big wusses. But remember, it's not its not my amazing skill or my incredible leadership ability. It's because we believe in each other. We have a bigger heart than anybody, so we have the potential to do everything. Anime it up, Beauty J. Anime it up. Ah, uh, uh, yes! <laughs> Do, do you ever just get extremely annoyed and just yell into the ether? Sure do! Happen a lot while playing this! No. And then Margaret was killed because of the brainwashed actions of course not. Like, I can't even get mad at these stupid cliches. You broke the mask yourself? Yeah, I banged my head on my console a few times. And Berlin's saved. Everyone's all good again. Oh, all right! Round of applause, everyone involved. I just noticed that Berlin's mechs have kind of like a handle 
on the top of their mechs, so a, a giant could just come around and just pick up those mechs with the one hand. Portability sake. I, re I really want these mechs to face off against uh, Sahalanthropus from Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> Oh, just thousands of rockets to destroy Sahalanthropus. <laughs> and these guys... I, I don't know, they could probably take out a knee. Just keep cutting away at that ankle, then it'll probably topple over. Mm -hmm. Can I just play Metagross Solid 5 instead? <laughs> Huey's perfect design. <laughs> that still has Achilles heels. Oh, trust me, I want to I wanna break someone's leg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always wondered how long it would take us to do the entire Metal Gear series. Just, just as like a little fun thought. It's like, how, how many main series games are there? Let's just go ahead and cut out Portable Ops. Hey, it, the main series did. Yes, I, I realize this. I think they said it in Peace Walker. We can forget about all that San Geronimo crap. Yeah. So what are there, about 12, 12 main games that are worth a damn? I, I could play any Kojima game of both of this. I mean, Kojima games, I believe two of them have made me cry. No, three of them had made me cry. And this isn't? I mean, we just had a moment of friendship. Yep, a big old moment of friendship. How, how is this? I could, I, could really, I could really feel the emotion leaking from the screen, and it touched me in a way that I could not replicate. Can you show the court where Sakura Wars touched you, please? Yep, I will show the court where it touched me, and then I, I grab the doll, and then I point my finger somewhere else, because this game isn't grabbing me at all. I mean, how is it that this dynamic mech fighting anime game is more boring, less exciting than Death Stranding? <laughs> I, I want to see a debate about that, because I thought Death Stranding was boring. I fucking love Death Stranding. It was that's a game that just sticks with you after you after you beat it. It's it's a beautiful game, and that's one of the three that made me cry. I figured. The thing is, I'm having a hard time remembering which part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, was it the part with Mama? Was it the part with uh, the, at the end? Uh, I don't know. It's all it's all good. It's all great. Was it the? I know you got to be in a, in the right state of mind for Death Stranding, but I am in that state of mind. And I was all up in there. Was it the part where the black ooze dolphin dragged me under for the 15th time in the fucking row? And then I lost everything? Not <laughs> it's not the game, not the game's fault, you stink. I know, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> this requires a, a shift in thinking, and uh, I'm pretty sure this game requires a shift in thinking, but I haven't figured out what that is yet. Maybe just don't expect anything good, and maybe you'll do all right. See, that's what blows me away about the reviews, because it's it's about arranging a C plus, uh, give or take. No, what? No way. No, just See, just that, about. That's the thing. I, I don't think anyone's really given this a fair shake. They just kind of play the first couple of chapters and go, yeah, that's fine. Then just give it a C. It's like, no, play the rest. Get to this part, and then that C will diminish right down to a D minus. Fuck. I believe we've already looked at the Metacritic scores, and I want to see if anything has changed since we started this Let's Play. I seriously doubt it. I loathe the, the control and platforming in this. Because you can't just inch forward, you have to take, like, a full step forward whenever you nudge the control stick. Mm -hmm. Whenever you jump, you can't just, like, you know, tap X to jump a little bit. You have to do a full jump every time. It just feels sticky and gross, especially when it, when it asks for precision, pl precision platforming. Uh, we're looking at a cool 73 meta score and a 7.3 user score. That's a wow. That is actually yeah. Re reverse those two numbers. Yeah, uh, that's what you give it. 37. 
It, I give it a 3.7. That's fair. <laughs> There's Mr. Quarterface. Okay. <laughs> Only has an eye left. So Genon's Genon's here. Basically, it's a laugh at us because we stink. Uh, he has the sword here, and he's laughing at us because we stink and don't have a sword. And Yaksha's here to laugh at us also because we stink. He's, he's basically oh, taking time that he could be un unleashing the Archdemon to come to us and say, Oh, look! I'm gonna use it on the Archdemon! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, can I read this review, please? Go ahead. Uh, you, you might want to... You, you might want to stop listening, but for the audience, I just want to read this out to people. Uh, we got a perfect 10, and this was uh, a review that was made during lockdown, the very early parts of lockdown. Uh, this game is a masterpiece. <laughs> it is a glorious return to the former glory days of a franchise that took Japan by, by the storm. There have been very, very few games where after beating them, I want to see that very same cast continue doing what they're what they were doing. And Sakura Wars is exactly that. The passing of the torch from Sakura Shinguji to Sakura Amamiya was presented well, <sighs> and I do hope that this game is just the start of a new series, and that these games will keep coming to the West, too. I am more than happy with what I've played. Every character, every scenario, every song and location. Stop! Every <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop. What the- Oh my god. What the one song that's in here? Come on. Uh, every character has their own song. Everything was crafted to be the finest theatrical game ever made. Have you ever played any other game? What a weeb. Because they ended their review with, Now I have an anime to watch. Ugh. <laughs> I, like, I have never been as insulted by a game as this one. <laughs> and, well... So, Bertlin is here to say, you know, hey, we're here, we're on your side now, so go forward and with, with confidence and win for us. Yeah, so go for it. I love the blaring of the main theme in the background, just to make you realize that things are wrapping up for the third time. We're supposed to be invigorated, that's right! Thank you, Berlin, for believing in us with your confidence yeah. and all that! Now we're gonna go forward and we're gonna beat the bad guy and- Go, Berlin! Blah, blah, blah! I know this is, like, the sec second or third time, I don't know, that we've seen you in action, but yeah! Berlin's coming in to save our asses, yeah! With the power of China, Germany, and London, it's, we can defeat the bad man. Or they just repeat themselves. It's just we believe in ourselves. We have confidence. We'll we'll, we'll never lose because we believe so hard. Just oh God, shut up! <laughs> shut the fuck up, please! Uh, I'm dying over here. Shut your fucking mouths! <laughs> and that wasn't the part that made you hate this, right? No! Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay. But we're getting there. Oh, we are getting there, my friend. Okay. And answer me this. We are getting so close. Answer me this before we we get there. Okay. We're gonna deal with some Deus Ex Machina shit. <laughs> oh god, I think I called it. I wish it was Deus Ex Machina. Oh, okay. I wish there was some MacGuffin that made everything all right again. No way. Oh, uh, no way. I'm just getting the visual imagery of Sakura giving uh, the the other Sakura a hug, and then all of a sudden she's freed from the from the demonic possession, and all of a sudden she is friendship with everyone else. My dude. I've told you before, you can try and predict what's going to happen with all these cliches. You can try and you know, guess what cliche they're going to use, but it doesn't hold a candle to the wild land mystery that is just straight up bad writing. Uh, okay, you got me there because I did not expect having to form Sakura into an actual blade to defeat bad guy. That is probably one of the funniest plot twists I've ever heard. 
Doesn't matter how bad the cliche is, just with, with, with writing as terrible as this, on top of the cliches, you've got, like, puke on a shit sundae. Mmm, with extra sprinkles. With, with, with extra shit sprinkles and dingleberries on top. <laughs> shit and piss out of my dick. Oh shit, he's, he's degrading. He's going back to, like, 2004 YouTube. Help. I guess it was more 2006. Ah! Ah! I, I need James Rolfe to review this game, though. Well, come back in, like, 20 years when he's, I don't know, in his 60s. Like, what, what one quote in his early days? Man, I'm just pissing shit over this fucking game! <laughs> God damn, those were the days. Man, yeah, I think he's still got I, it. I know, he's gotten better with age. He's like wine. And the best part is his show isn't weekly, so you you kind of you kind of get a break from it cuz I don't know about the rest of you at home, but constant swearing and you know, kind of the same humor, it kind of wears on you after about an hour or so. Well, James has like other jokes though. Oh yeah, he's got like he's he's got like several good jokes. He's got visual gags. He's got other uh, other create other characters and creators. You know, he's he's more than a one trick pony, but everyone likes the one trick. Well, that's what I gotta commend him on. The visual humor has been on point for years. Yes, it has. I mean that that, that face he makes every time he, he tells one of his you know shit piss fart poopy diarrhea <laughs> jokes you can see the smile starting to form around his lips. That, that's a sign where like the fact that he breaks character every now and again it just gives me a little smile on the other side of the screen because I'm like oh man he's having a great time. I think one of my favorite ones is where he says all right let's cut the shit and then he's got a. <laughs> He's got a log of shit on the plate and he just cuts it out. <laughs> it's so simple, it's so effective. Uh. Alright. Okay. We're, we're coming up to it. I want I want you all to just take five minutes. Just, just take a few minutes, okay. look back, and try and think of any positives you have on this game because they're gonna go down the toilet here very soon. Okay. Uh, um, let me, let me think. Uh... Combat, when you get used to it, is alright, I guess. I mean, the lock-on is atrocious, but, you know, w once you get into it, it's, it's, it's okay. I love the, the, the settings and the graphics, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the shine they have everything, the material and the clothing, it is beautiful. Hedgehog Engine 2 at its best. Uh, um, the bromides are a fun addition. I like... Yeah, bromides are fun. It's good to see, you know, stuff from other previous good Sakura Wars mm -hmm. games. It's always nice to see. Um, I might have to look up Azami's voice actress because uh, she did this song that you know, sounded pretty good. So I, I might look her up in, uh, in her uh, discography and see what, see what else she's got. And uh, I will give it this for all the jokes that fall flat on their faces. There have been a few that have genuinely been funny to me. That it, There have been a couple, at, yes. at least to me. And, you know, if you're going to go full, like etchy route in your anime game, you better have some damn good comedy. Otherwise, it's just going to die. Uh -huh. God, I just realized this is your Dead Rising 4. You're not a hitman. You're just disappointed. Oh, All right. So let's see. My my point of breaking was about uh, was about the ending of. Dead Rising 4 and the fact that you had to pay for the actual epilogue. Let's see what yours is. The point where you said, yeah, let's do it. The point where I, I stopped holding out hope for this game and I was like, this is an insulting pile of garbage and I wish I were dead. You made it farther than I expected. Like, you made it to the, the last chapter. <laughs> yeah, well... You know, some some say that hate is just another form of love. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that, because the only reason we did Dead Rising 4 is because I, like, I hate finished it one evening. Alright, here we go. This is oh, the, uh, the old platform. 
The old platform is gonna take us to the top. Oh shit! No! Ugh. <laughs> I told you there's a trophy for falling in your mech suit 30 times. Right? Oh, did you get it? A long time ago. Okay. That's fabulous. I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'm just fucking. <laughs> I'm just done. 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 Okay. Here we go. Oh, Yaksha's gonna be Sakura's mother! Yaksha is here! Alright! It's time to face her once and for all. The final battle between the imposter Sakura Shinguji. Bring it on, you sneeze. Yaksha! Yaksha! God, I'm getting a cold from this game. I'm not getting a cold, but I am getting sick of it. I will give you a friendship hug, and that mask will come right off. All right. Ready? You ready? Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Uh, let me guess. One shot, one kill during her monologue. You have no idea who you're up against or what Sogetsu Genon is capable of. Okay. That's... that's fine. She just kills Anastasia with one blow. No, no, she's not unconscious. She is dead. D E A D, dead. Dead, dead. dead. Oh my god, what a waste of a beginning of a chapter bringing her back. Dead. Wow! It's like we spent, you know, we spent all that time and she just, oh, dead. Just dead. I mean, we put her in like the special goo to bring her back to life, and then it's just like, hey, we're gonna give her a cutscene death. Yep. Oh my God. So that was if you funny. chose her, so if you chose her as your deputy <gasps> uh, captain, well, uh, oops. <laughs> no way. Right. Face Yaksha. She's pretty tough, but hey, if you're as good as I am, not that tough. Oh my. I mean, this it's not like we're, it's not like we're dealing with Dark Souls combat here. I mean, come on. Okay. Game idea. Just a, what do you just got? imagine. Oh wait, hang oh, on. Wait. Hold that thought. Okay. Hold that thought. She gets back up. We got more cutscene here. Oh, did she kill everyone? One shot, one kill. Playtime is over. She's done messing around. All right, cool. What's she gonna do now? Oh, she's got that power of that sword. That's gonna fuck everything All up. All right. She's got, she is like powering up now. She's got the power of the Archdemon flowing within her now, basically. Uh, uh, okay. She, she, she's got she's gone Super Saiyan 3, basically. <gasps> no! Where's the long hair? Yeah, it's, 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 it's inside. Oh, okay. Like, if she comes out of that mech with, like, hair down to her butt... Perfect. What's oh. <laughs> two? There's two. <laughs> Wait a minute! Sakura's gonna be the only one left, isn't she? So there's Claris dead. That's two down. If you chose Claris as your deputy captain, oops! Guess not! <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> uh, excuse me. And so here goes Azami to revenge. And. Aha! De Reversed and. 
What? Oops. Are you kidding me? There's three. Oh, okay. There we go. Die. Once again, that is a zombie. Dead. Not unconscious. Dead. She has expired. She is gone from this world. So if you chose a zombie as your deputy captain, oops! Oh, I can't wait for the Sakura only final boss fight. Hatsuho's gonna get deaded next, and then we're just gonna have our perfect oh, no, Sakura remember. flower. Remember, we've chosen Hatsuho as our deputy captain. Oh, it didn't fucking matter. Are you kidding me? Have you seen this game? It has to. I mean, come on. It didn't matter. Trust me. So, three dead, two to go. It's just... It's just Seijiro, Sakura, and Hatsuho. So it's time to fight again. Here we go. Well, okay. So we're gonna have Hatsuho use her uh, special attack, and uh, that'll, get, that'll get her help down some more. Here we go. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Get over here! Hey, 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 hey! So much for that special attack. That was a waste. Well, shit. Luckily, she's easy to dodge because the dodging window is like huge. All right, perfect dodges, always helpful. Hey, here goes Hatsuho. She's down next. Oh, are they gonna pull a Paper Mario where the power of friendship brings our friends back to life? I hope so. But for now, they're they're like dead. They're worm food. Mm-hmm. Hatsuho doesn't give up because she's got this indomitable spirit! That's Hatsuho's strength. When the chips are down, she's never down. And she's gonna get Come it on, straight through the face. Sword straight Bring it home. right in the eyes. You got this, girl. I believe in you, because friendship and blah blah blah. And stab right in the face. Not a chance! Hatsuho's got this! Yeah! Yeah! You got it, girl! Do it up! Anastasia, when I met you, I thought you were an emotionless bitch. But then I realized you do have emotions. <laughs> you know, depression, sorrow, frowny faces. So does, it, does this cutscene change depending on your captain? Or uh, your second in command? <laughs> No. Or is this like the legit actual Hatsuho chapter? This this is just how it goes, regardless of who your deputy captain is. That is pathetic. Come on. Come on, Hatsuho, you got this! She doesn't got this. She has a monologue. She's gonna die. Yeah! Called it. So now, her thundering might, her Super Saiyan power is gone now. Her connection to Sonan Gendetsu or whatever has been severed. And there's four! Cool. So if you chose Hatsuho as your deputy vice captain, oops! God, just imagine if the ending depended on who you chose as your as your co-captain and they were the only one left what a what a sobering ending that would be god damn but no i know how these weeb games go everyone's gonna live in the end because they can't fathom having all of your waifus die that's but not they're all dead that's not how anime works they're dead man they're dead oh that's not how anime works dude they're, I'm telling you, dude, they're dead. I've seen enough shitty anime. They're coming back to life. They're dead. I am turning Sakura into a sword, and I am bringing them back to life with the power of friendship swords. <laughs> Unless we all die and we, like, meet in the afterlife, that would be a really ballsy ending, too. So even though we had Hatsuho this whole chapter, Sakura is the one we finish with. Uh, of course. I told you. She's the only one who survives. Not only is she the only one that survives, 
The game thinks that even though I chose Hanzo as my deputy captain, that I want to fucking play as her! <laughs> when did I ever say I wanted to fucking play as Hanzo? Or as Sakura? <laughs> when did I ever say that? Oh, God. I, what a trick. I've, I've hated her this whole game. I have... <laughs> I chose Hatsuho over Sakura, but the game's like, oh, that means that you go, we want to play as Sakura for this fight, this fight against Yaksha, right? No, I don't! What a fucking train wreck, man. Oh my god, how are there this many decisions that are so poor? So this is a fucking masterpiece, huh? 10 out of 10, huh? Is this what you think, huh? Oh my god. This is, this is a 72 on Metacritic. This is a C-plus game. Yeah? Are you sure about that? I mean, I'm not. I don't write Metacritic's uh, reviews because, uh... This, no, apparently this I'm full of bad takes. This is a fucking embarrassing pile of shit. And this is like your, what, second time playing through it? Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Well, Yaksha's dead and we're down four waifus, but at least we got Sakura left. I'm so happy. I think I've already mentioned this in a previous episode, but was this made specifically to piss you off? You'd think so, oh, right? And, and that's the end. <laughs> it's just the end of the chapter. Bam, we did it. Oh, Hatsuho, you're back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this! Would you believe me if I said that it gets even worse? Oh, really? Well, there there goes uh, Yaksha's mask. She's clear. Ah! not a threat anymore. Oh. I don't know why we got out of the mech. I thought we could just, like, you know, step on her. <laughs> just pick her up with our mech hand and kind of, like, squeeze her head until it pops like a grape. So even though I, I've been macking on Hatsuho this whole game, even though I chose Hatsuho as my deputy vice captain, even though I want her ending, I've locked into her ending, the game says, okay, we'll just have Sakura kill this bad guy for you. God damn, do they only have like three music tracks in this game? This is like the fifth time I've heard the opening. Stupid. She, if it was that easy, we could have done this like ten chapters ago. <laughs> you left behind a gift of a tuft of hair. But now, unfortunately, the links of uh, Shadow Tokyo are starting to break. That was it. Demon is that much closer to coming back to life? Okay, I was about to say. But oh, oh no! Uh, Whoa! Oh shit, no! no we're stuck. And then they both died. Oh well, okay. Welcome to the afterlife. We're taking you back to the moments that you remember fondly. This is the part where things get really insulting. But that's next time, because coming up next time on Sakura Wars, it's the final chapter! Hatsuho who's dead, Claire's who's dead, Azami who's dead, and Anastasia who's dead. But they're right dead. there! But they're right there! Thank you, everyone, right, for dying they're right because there. you're dead, and who the fuck is that? What's happening? What's it? What the hell? Oh my god, wait, hey, it's Sakura Shinguji, we're gonna bring everybody back? Passing the torch? What the fuck? Oh my god, fucking whatever. Oh. Uh... Oh, wow. So next time on Sakura Wars, we're going to be wow. uh, finishing up this bullshit, going through the final battle. But yeah, hot, yeah, no, my eyes don't deceive me. Hatsuho is still my deputy captain. So why the fuck is Sakura with me right now? What is happening? Why are you doing this? Why? 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 God, you are in purgatory. <laughs> you can't escape why? until you finish the game. Kill me now.